Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Dropbox. Whenever you launch or run the game, you got the error, game client is not responding. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all in the basic step, head over to settings menu, choose windows update and if any update is pending at your end, make sure to choose the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. And nextly is if you have installed any third party antivirus such as Avast, AVG or Malwarebytes, make sure you temporarily disable it then try to launch the game because Malwarebyte is a known antivirus that is causing the issue with Dropbox and in turn gives you the issue of game client is not responding. If this failed to work out, in next step go ahead and simply uninstall three programs if you have installed these programs in your system. GE Force Experience, MSI Afterburner and any third party overclocking software such as Riva Tuner. Make sure you completely uninstall these softwares from your system and then right click and choose the option run. Type here clean MGR and then hit the enter key. Now whichever drive your game is installed choose that drive and hit the ok button. Now from here check mark all the options and uncheck the option thumbnails. Once you have done this choose the option ok. Hit the option delete files. Once all the files are cleared, restart your PC and then relaunch the game to fix out the issue of game client not responding. If this also fails, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose option device manager. From here, you need to expand your display adapter. Now at your end, if you have an Intel USD or Intel graphics, you need to right click on it and choose the option disable. Once you disable it, go ahead, launch the Robux and then hit the play option. Once you started playing the Robux and you are not getting the error, game client is not responding, again head over to this device manager, again right click and choose the option enable device. This way, the issue of game client not responding with Robux will be fixed out. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here percentage, local app data percentage and then hit the enter key. Over here find a folder with the name Robux. Open it and open versions folder. Again open version folder and here you will find a file with the name web view to loader. Right click and choose the option delete. Once you delete this file, go ahead right click on Robux player launcher. Make sure you right click on Robux player launcher and choose the option run as administrator. Hit the yes button. It will go ahead and reinstall the Robux for you which in turn help you fix out the issue of Robux game client not responding. Once the game is properly installed using this technique, relaunch the game to completely fix out the issue of Robux game client not responding. Now you are ready to launch the game. Now if this method also failed to work out, let's proceed with the last step. Again, open run command and type in the same command percentage local app data percentage and then hit the enter key. Now in this address bar, click on it, right click and copy the path as it is. Now click on start menu, type cmd, run cmd as an administrator. Now type in cd space the path that we have just copied by pressing the control plus V key and then hit the enter key. Now type in rmdir space slash s space robox and hit the enter key. Again type in Y key and hit the enter key again. Once you have done this, robox is completely uninstalled from your system. Now go ahead and download the robox web version from its official website, save it into a PC. Once it is saved, run the installer and install the Robux to completely fix out the issue of Robux game client is not responding. However, if none of these methods help you fix out the issue, you need to do a clean installation of Windows which means you need to completely format the C drive and reinstall the Windows to completely fix out the issue. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.